At any given time, our crews are on the road, underground, and in the air. Keeping these lights on, and more importantly, your life on, means working all hours and in all conditions. That's a lot to think about, especially if you're on our safety and training team, because they're responsible for making sure that all those people are trained and prepared to get home safely. That's a full-time job, and this is life behind the lines. There's a lot of hazards when you look at this job site. First of all, we're working at nighttime. A lot of people want to come into our work zone. So first thing, we want to keep the public safe and we want to keep our employees safe. It's all about communication and every job site's different. That's why it's so important we identify it before we start working. As a company, we're aiming for zero injuries. That doesn't take luck, that takes training. Lots of training. This facility is designed to simulate conditions that the employees would find out in the field. Every piece of equipment here uh, we train on, forklifts, huge trucks, wire pullers, underground equipment, cranes, all different kind of digger derricks, load lift buckets. I am absolutely in charge of all the toys. It's uh, like I've met a little boy that never grew up. We get to play with trucks and equipment and everything all day and sometimes even in the dirt. We have the ability to de-energize this entire yard. We also have the ability to energize them so that they can actually get that real world feel of uh, what they need to do out on the streets. Our employees practice in a safe, controlled environment because the field is anything but forgiving. You don't get a second chance if you come in contact with electricity. So safety is, is a big priority at Duquesne Light. At the end of the day, when our guys go home tired, sweaty, filthy, dirty, doesn't matter to me. As long as I know they're going home to their loved ones, I'm fine with that. That's not something we take for granted, but it is something we train for. And that's life behind the line.